Hey guys, Mr. B here, and uh, making my first video for the school year, the school year, 2011. Um, and one thing we work on in class is estimating the square roots of decimals, and I noticed on your assignment there was a little bit difficult with this, difficulty with this. So I thought I might just uh, give you a little bit of a review of it through a video. Um, so here we go, we have the square root of 65.1, and we want to know uh, what this guy is, okay? Uh, just an estimate of it, we're looking for an estimate. Uh, and one method we discussed was actually called the goalpost method. Um, so how the goalpost method starts is we draw our goalie net, and inside the goalie net we put our number, so 65.1. All right. So now we have to use our benchmarks, and uh, some people get confused when I when you always use the word benchmarks, you automatically think fractions. Okay. Well, when we're talking square roots and perfect squares, our perfect squares are our benchmarks. Okay. Those are how we estimate all our square roots. So when we're looking at this guy, 65.1, we're looking that it's in between these two guys right here. Okay, So it's in between um, 64 and 81. All right. So that must mean that the square root of 65.1 is between the square root of 81 and the square root of 64. All right. So now I know the square root of 64. Well, that's just 8. Okay. So that must mean the square root of 65.1 is between 8 and the square root of 81 is 9. So it's somewhere between 8 and 9. So that's what the goalpost method allows us to do. Break it down to an estimate of where this guy lies between. So now, if we want to use a number line for this guy, so I know 64 is right here, 81 is right here, so 65.1 is probably somewhere really, really close to 65, 64, um, but it's not quite 65. So what that tells me is that if I take the square root of 64, it's 8. The square root of 81 is 9, so that must mean that the square root of 65.1 is really, really close to 8, but it's not quite 8. All right. So this is where we have to make an estimate. Um, a good estimate for this one might be the square root of 65.1 that's really, really close to 8, but it's not quite 8, might be 8.1. That would be a decent estimate. Now, I know we're estimating, and I, I really believe that um, you can definitely estimate wrong, okay? So um, when you estimate this, 65.1 is about 8. Although the statement's true, we can 100% assure you that that's not the right answer because we already know that the square root of 64 is 8. So you guys have to do a better estimate of that. And this is what I saw a little bit of, okay? I know that's true, but it's n it's not entirely correct because I, you can do a way better job of estimating, okay? We can look at that and immediately rule out that that's not a great estimate because we know the square root of 64 is 8, all right? So um, be very, very careful when you're doing these guys. I really, really want you to keep that in mind that uh, you got to make this judgment call right here. What's it really close to, all right? Um, Hope this clears things up. Um, if there's any questions, ask me in class. All right, guys, I'll see you in class.